So how do you feel about AI and AI companionships and the ever evolving landscape of modern romance? Artificial intelligence has become an integral part of the equation. <laughs> yeah, that's right. AI isn't just about robots and sci-fi movies anymore. It's infiltrated much of our day-to-day -day lives and even the world of online dating. From personalized recommendations to predictive algorithms, AI is reshaping the way we navigate the dating scene as we know it. But amidst the convenience and promises of finding the perfect match, there's a growing question. Is it for the better? Or is it making things more complicated than ever before? Let's dive into the depths of this digital dilemma and explore the impact of AI on modern romance. Loneliness and the rise of AI partners. It's no secret that many of us feel lonely nowadays, especially when we are surrounded by screens more than people. Some turn to AI for companionship, hoping to fill the void with virtual partners. It's like having a friend in your pocket, ready to chat whenever you need them. But relying on AI for companionship might not be the magical solution we hope for. Sure, these AI boyfriends and girlfriends can mimic human interaction to a certain extent. They'll chat with you, listen to your stories, and maybe even crack a joke or two. But don't lose sight of the fact that it's all scripted. There's no real emotion or spontaneity, just pre-programmed responses that are a poor substitute for genuine human connection. So instead of helping us feel less lonely, relying on AI might actually make us feel more disconnected. The perfect partner doesn't exist. But why do some people tend to pick AI over real humans? Well, in an era of AI and dating apps, swiping right is as easy as ordering your favorite pizza. And as humans, our brains naturally prefer convenience. So if AI can simulate love and intimacy, who wouldn't want to get on the express lane to potential romance? The allure of AI also lies in its predictability. It doesn't change or break your heart. It doesn't have any pesky emotions of its own or needs and desires that you have to accommodate to. It's a seductive illusion that shields us from the messy reality of human relationships, always loyal and adoring. But is it actually making us more miserable? The ease of super convenient dating might be reducing our effort in building meaningful connections. We could be moving on to the next option without truly appreciating each encounter. And in the rush of such a fast paced world, we might lose our understanding of building genuine relationships with one another. An artificial escape. When you get your heart broken, it's easy to convince yourself that it's not you, it's them. We're so used to seeing everything through the artificial lens of social media, where we only ever flaunt all the highs and the best parts of our lives, so much so that we become unreasonable and narcissistic. That's why people nowadays expect their partners to do no wrong, to do everything they want them to do without having to compromise but all these idealized notions of love and unrealistic expectations may drive us to seek comfort in AI, masking our unresolved intimacy and attachment issues. That's why one night stands and ghosting are becoming more and more normalized in today's society. Predictive algorithms and the illusion of choice. Another way AI is affecting the dating world is through matchmaking. Online dating platforms like Tinder often use predictive algorithms that analyze our behavior and predict our preferences to suggest potential matches, offering what seems like a convenient solution to finding love. But these algorithms only show us what they think we wanna see. They limit our dating pool based on calculations of compatibility and similarity. And while that might sound handy, it means we might miss out on meeting someone who's totally different, but totally right for us so much for serendipity and romance. Ever gone on a string of Tinder dates? Sure, AI might make it easier for us to meet more people who are single and ready to mingle, but if you've ever gone on one blind date after another, you've probably realized sooner or later that it can also take away the sense of serendipity and authenticity in romance. The magic that makes those rare human connections so special. And let's not forget about the superficial stuff. Sure, AI can crunch numbers like a math whiz, 
but it's not so great at understanding the real, deep down stuff that makes us tick. It thinks the only things we need to be happy in our relationships are shared interests and hobbies, but what about the things that truly make a relationship meaningful? What about shared values, life goals, and the ability to connect on a deeper level? At the end of the day, finding love isn't just about swiping left or right. Don't let AI fool you into settling for superficial connections guided by algorithms. Mm, but is AI really to blame? It's not artificial intelligence, but artificial love that destroys love and intimacy. The danger lies not in technology itself, but in using it as a band-aid for genuine human connection. Perhaps AI is shedding light on the emotional and attachment wounds we have that need healing. The dating world may be evolving, but it's our responsibility to ensure that we don't sacrifice the essence of love for the illusion of perfection. Is AI really making the dating world more messed up? It's hard to say for sure. At the end of the day, it's important to remember that AI is just a tool. It can help guide us in our search for love, but it shouldn't replace our own instincts and judgment. So next time you're swiping through profiles, take a moment to think for yourself. After all, no algorithm can replace the magic of human connection. What are your thoughts on AI's role in modern dating? Got any stories or insights you'd like to share? Sound off in the comments down below. And if you found this video helpful and want to learn more, click here to watch the only dating advice you'll ever need. And you're not broken, the dating world is. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe for more thought-provoking content on love, relationships, and mental health. And remember, the best matches are found when we trust our hearts, not just our screens. Thanks for watching.